starting an open access journal is not all, all that difficult. Uh, the two important things are you should have the title and the knowledge of what you want to put in the channel. Number two is you should have the initial capital to start a journal. So it can be run in the name of a society um, by crowdfunding uh, for whatever money is required to start a journal. In India, most people have the feeling that a journal is usually on paper. You have to first overcome this barrier. So your supporters, the authors, must agree to publish in a journal which is only electronic and then it becomes easy. Or it could be electronic plus paper like Current Science is. So Current Science is run by a society called the Current Science Association which has a managing committee and the members uh, and they do get grants. Right now if you have a good journal you can get grant from DST. They give you a small sum of money and you can get advertising in that area. Suppose if it is open source you can get advertisement from Reddit or somebody. Hmm? So, and the third thing is you can get uh, contributions from the crowd uh, who believe that it is a good thing. So subscriptions like from them. So these are the only options for starting an open external. The most important thing is you should have a reading clientele. A journal is meant for reading. Unless people read, a large number of people read, there's no point in running a journal. It's like a, um, having a dinner without guests. So everything will be a waste of stuff. So this is a simple Editor? Ah. The editor should be knowledgeable in the field and dispassionate. I mean, he should not have friends, favors, and so on. I mean, he may be your friend, but when it comes to editing, he should forget you are a friend and look at only the content that you send. So this uh, quality is rare, and some of us have tried hard to adhere to this principle, and we have, to some extent, succeeded. So you should find people who are upright in the matter of judging, irrespective of the name of the author. Often in journals, they try double-blind process. Neither the author nor the referee will uh, know who is who. Uh, the editor will not know. All the, uh, editor will know the author's name, but not the referee's name. The referee and the author will not know each other, that kind of thing. But all this cannot work in India, because we know each other's style of writing, or uh, the field he works, and so on. It, it's a large crowd of world over, then it is okay. The, the double blind system, etc., may not work so efficiently in a small regional channel like Goa. So we should pay, pay too much importance or premium on the um, honesty of the individual. Professor, periodicity? Ah, it depends on the number of receipts of articles. If, if you know, a journal is run when authors submit papers for publishing. If you get only two papers in a whole year, you have no right to talk about periodicity. Eh? So it depends on that. Uh, often in esoteric fields, not many people work so hard uh, to be able to produce a publishable unit as a paper. See, simply one fact, I, 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 I went to uh, Donna Paula and I found a huge crater on the road. That doesn't make a paper. So there must be uh, a minimum amount of work uh, or facts or information bits reported to constitute a paper. So people often um, accuse uh, other scientists of salami sizing. They say <laughs> a substantial paper, they make it to small bits and some it as eight papers or four papers or something. Not a good thing at all, but we should guard against that. So, in a small way, when you start, even if it is two papers in three months, doesn't matter because it's not a paper, it's not a period city, etc. It's as and when it appears, it goes in the journal's name. So, it need not have a regular period city. So, you can have an annual volume, um, whatever was published between January 1 and December 31. 
is called volume one. You can have it. You need not necessarily have periods. As and when the paper arrives and reviewed, and you can release it in the net on the uh, site of the journal.